Hey guys, it's Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Welcome back to another tutorial. We've already started doing spooky stuff, so let's keep that uh, train a ball a moving, shall we? I am so stinking excited about this project. It was one of those aha moments that you get at the thrift store that if I for me personally, I have to write it down immediately, otherwise I'll forget why I bought the things that I bought or the idea that I had, so I wrote it down. And we're going to take a version of the floating teacup. We have done that project before. I will really, really try to remember to link it in the comments if you haven't seen that video before, um, because I think part of it you're gonna wanna watch if you've never done these kind of projects before, but any hoosies, floating teacup. We're going to do a version of that, but we're gonna do it in a spookified version. Oh my gosh. If this turns out half as cute as I think it might in my head, we are in for one of the funnest projects I've done. And I mean, that one was freaking hard to top. So let's let's see if we can do it, shall we? I'll, uh, I'll explain my, my, my thought process right after I clip this. Okay, meet me over it. Meet me over there. This lovely bowl is what started it all. What does it look like to you? Because to me, it looks like a cauldron. Minus this part, and there's chips on it, which is even better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go spray paint this black a little bit more. Well, maybe, should I? I think so, I think so. I don't, well, I don't know. This detail is kind of cute. Maybe, maybe I take and put some rub and buff on that. Anyway. Cauldron, meat cup, pour it in our potion that will be uh, mystical magical flowers. <laughs> Spookified version, there's gonna be a skeleton for sure floating in this too. Um, this though is too shiny for me. So I'm gonna try to spray paint it. I think we're gonna try to spray, spray paint it black, see what happens on there. I think there's gonna be a little skeleton that needs to hang out on the handle of the cup. I'm just debating which direction. I think I'm gonna have the handle this way, as in we're pouring. So I am going to go prep everything. We're gonna spray paint this. We'll see how that goes. I think first, um, because it's so shiny, I'm gonna take a little bit of um, sandpaper. Scuff this up a bit more so that the paint has something to grab onto. Um, and we'll see how it goes. I The spray paint I have is a high gloss. It says it bonds to plastic, wood, metal, and more. So. We should be, we should be okay with that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna scuff this up. I'm gonna spray paint it. <laughs> Hold on, one second. Son of a gun. So I also have this out of my stash and this is like a very tarnished silver piece. Do we like, oh no. And I can't get your guys' opinions on this unless it's after the fact and you're like, no dummy, you should have used the other one or no dummy, you should have used that one. Whichever one I don't pick, someone's gonna be upset with me because they're like, why'd you show us options? And then we didn't get to decide. That's what I do during lives, especially on Facebook. We like, there's a lot of collaborative uh, creating. I ask opinions on everything because I'm unsure of myself <laughs> for being completely honest. All right, so do we like, oh no, chalice? Oh, decisions, decisions. Well, meet me back in a minute and you'll you'll see what I decided. I think I think first I'm gonna spray paint this black. I wanna see it black first next to this and then I'll make a final decision. So I'll meet you right back here. All right, so I did the putting the cup into the cauldron with the fork off camera because it can be super finicky. It took me a couple times to get it right. Again, you can check out our previous tutorial about this and I show you lots of different ways that I tried out until good old super glue was the way to go for me. And that's my own personal preference. The other thing with the cup, I'm gonna bring this up close so you can see. Did you see all that texture on there? I threw dirt on it. I threw dirt on it while the spray paint was still wet. And then I went over with more spray paint to give it this like really old weathered texture. So I'm loving this. So if you were really hoping it was gonna be the um, chalice, I'm sorry. 
Um, the other thing I did, there are rocks in the bottom. I did glue those in, and now I'm just gonna slide in some floral foam. And then we're gonna add some moss. Uh, and then I've got all of this stuff. And then, and then, and then. Isn't that something you're not supposed to do in storytelling? And then what? And then this. Okay, so a lot of this greenery is past um, greenery that we've offered or it was like, I think this was a sample to try out to see if we were gonna like it. Um, this New England boxwood is in the shop so you can find that. Uh, and there's a lot of other fall greenery. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use that one thinking about it. I also have some little zinnies as far as wood flowers. We've got some little faux pumpkins from the dollar store. I've got these little skeletons that were like strung up on some string and grabbed one of those. One might put him in here. We'll see. Um, we're going to be working really small. So I'm just going to bring the camera in and we're just going to play and see what happens. I never know with these pieces what's going to exactly happen, but I think I think it's going to be a ton of fun. So get yourselves up in uh, nice and cozy to drink, and and let's let's put this together, shall we? bumped it and it came undone son of a gun I think the dirt I gotta because I sprayed in the inside too I'm gonna go get my um, piece of sandpaper and we're going to scuff that up and then we will we will try again oh son of a gun Oh, okay. Uh, take two. <laughs> I'm I'm starting to have flashbacks from the first original tutorial that I when I did this. I came in feeling very confident that I've done enough of these now that I should be good to go. But let this just be a lesson to us all that things don't always go as we plan. Uh, so fingers crossed. But the rest of this tutorial goes just swimmingly well as we play with a whole bunch. While I was waiting for the glue to dry, I did start stemming up, or not stemming, but breaking down a whole bunch of the greenery. Also, some of them I put in individual pieces of wire so we can just pop them right into the floral foam. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, moss everywhere. Okay, back to it, y'all, back to it. Well, that was slightly um, terrifying for a minute there. <laughs> As I lifted up, I'm like, please don't fall down, please don't fall down. Look at that spooky little, little arrangement. It came together pretty dang well. Besides the cup falling off once. It's fine, it happens. We picked ourselves back up and we made it work. Yeah, yes. <laughs> 
hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Hold on, I'm gonna hold it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cross my legs. You can't see it, but my legs are crossed while I stand so that hopefully, fingers crossed, nothing falls as we, as we wrap this up, all right? So if you're loving these videos, can't get enough, want to know the next time we post, which is typically on Wednesdays, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery. Go to oyourlovely.com. But before you do, let me give you a treat. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off an order. Oh. I think next week might not be a spooky tutorial. We'll have to see. I feel like we're gonna go back and forth, back and forth for the next couple of weeks um, between fall based and spooky based. But let me know in the comments, what would you like to see a little bit more of? Via Facebook and Instagram, we took some votes and it was about a 50-50 split. So around those parts, for sure 50-50. But let me know here in the YouTube land, do you wanna see more spooky stuff, more fall stuff? a good mix of both, just let me know. And I'm happy to provide that for you. So, there we go. Oh, I feel much better. I think I deserve a, uh, a pumpkin flavored something or other for that, for going through that and getting through it and not crying. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you next week for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.